Good evening, everybody. How are you all doing today? I'm doing well. Um, I just got back from my evening walk, as I do most days. Um, I think it's about, usually it's about three miles, three and a half miles. And my foot is hurting so bad. So I'm going to try to soak it in some water. It's just, I don't know. And I feel like there's a bump on it. And now I feel like this next week during spring break, I'm going to try to see about at least making an appointment with a doctor. But we'll see. I'll try to see the doctor too. Um, what else? So I'm still waiting on the results from the fitness challenge. The last um, person to weigh in, they weighed in. So we're just officially waiting for the results. I'm hoping that we'll hear um, something by tomorrow and then I'll of course let you guys know. Um, what else? So I have to work on Monday. I've got a full day of working on Monday. And then I've got the rest of the, um, the rest of the week off. Uh, sorry, my fiance brought me a little bucket of water with some Epsom salt in it to help soak my foot because it hurts. Some days it's more severe than others, but we'll see. Anyway, um, what else, what else, what else? So yeah, um, on Saturday, um, with some of my coworkers and my sister, we're planning on doing a hike in Torrey Pines. It is so beautiful down there. If any of you um, live in the Southern California area, I highly recommend checking out the Torrey Pines hike. It is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll try to see if I can't do a video or not, but because I'm with everybody, I don't know if I want to or not. If anything, I'll just maybe take a video of some of the snippets of the, the hike. It's so incredibly beautiful. It really is pretty. Um, just the way, like, um, I think it's just probably, like, sand and erosion. They're, like, these, like, cliff-type things, but they're just, like, awesome looking. Like I said, I'll try to see if I can't find some pictures. It's really beautiful down there. Hoping to get in some hiking, um, some of the other days. Not sure yet. Um, me and Lauren are going to try to, uh, figure out something to do because if I don't plan on doing anything I just don't do anything and I get kind of lazy so we're gonna try to see about today and tomorrow maybe making some plans and, and doing something I'll let you guys know how that goes um let's see what else um so I'm planning on going up to my mom's on uh on this weekend maybe after the hike or um um Sometime this week, maybe we'll go both, and then also going up to see my fiance, his mom. Sorry if I'm looking away from the camera. I get distracted in thoughts. Um, so we're going to try to do that. Um, we're also going to, like I said, we're just going to try to see about having some fun and stuff and seeing what we can't do. Um, and then, yeah. So for dinner tonight, I had the same thing last night because um, I'm still doing the Simply Filling. Um, my fiance, he made um, drumsticks and he, I even asked him what exactly he put on them because they were pretty good. And he told me he put seasoning salt, garlic salt, smoked paprika, um, the Mrs. Dash onion and herb, a half a tablespoon of sesame oil, and one teaspoon, one tablespoon of teriyaki sauce. And it was actually pretty dang good. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. So we're having that for dinner tonight. Um, for breakfast this morning, I had some of the Winco shredded potatoes. Um, I, when I scan them, they don't um, have the little green dot for Simply Filling, but I was um, comparing it to some of the stats of Simply Filling, and it's really close. So I'm just going to count it as Simply Filling. It doesn't have any oil in it on the back of it. It doesn't have any oil in it. It doesn't have anything in it, just potatoes, frozen potatoes. So I'm going to just count it as Simply Filling. Um, I probably had about a cup of it. Um, and then a little bit of ketchup. Oh my goodness, I love the fact that this uh, ketchup is free on Simply Filling because I love ketchup. And for lunch, I had some brown rice with a little bit of mixed veggies in, the a little bit of peas, a little bit of corn, carrots, and then the green beans. But I really don't like frozen green beans, so I picked those things out. Um, and then for snack, I had some of the sun-baked uh, garden variety or something. Um, like chips. I love those things. They're so good. I got a big bag of them over um, a couple of weekends ago to take up to my mom and dad's because we were, went to the store and they had them and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let's just give it a try. We'll go up and we'll bring it up with my mom and dad. And we just kind of been snacking. It's been in my car for a couple of weeks now. And like, yeah, I might have like one a day, which I'm, I'm okay with. Oh, I also did have a little bag of the pop, a little bag of the cheddar popcorn out of that one too. Um, what else did I have to I had a cheer-free jello which is zero points. 
Um, and then I think I just have my Coke Zero like I always have. Other than that, I can't think of anything else that I've had today. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, so I was just going to update you on that. And then what else? I'm trying to look at... I remember I, I said in my thing I was going to do my planner. I worked on my planner a little bit. So I'm trying to think of some of the things that are coming up that I could talk about. Because I also did a little bit for May. Let me see if I have one that looks semi-decent-ish. Um, I should throw that away. Just some of my things, like, you know, what's going on, events that are happening, kind of cool little things like that. I try to put some stickers on. I really, really want to buy some of those, like, fitness stickers and stuff, and that way I can, um, like, I don't know, because I see other people doing it, and I think it's so cool, because then I'm like, oh, I don't need to spend money on that. I could some other cool little things, made myself a list of things I should do on my spring break off. Events that are going on, like Sunday they have the chess club. Checking out like stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm just kind of looking at this little thing and trying to let you know what's coming up. So for Easter, we're going to be having Easter dinner over at my sister's house. And she really likes Mexican food, so she's making it a Mexican themed um, dinner. We also had the same thing last year. So they're going to be like uh, tamales, um, carnitas guacamole, chips, refried beans, black beans, pinto beans, um, carne asada, um, and pretty much everything like that's going to be there. So I'm kind of like trying to have a plan for it. And I know some of the things are okay. Like obviously the black beans, or I can bring some of my own stuff too. Um, and then of course, if depending on what the meat is, I might be able to do something with that. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm okay. And then at the end of the month, it's kind of cool. They're having a Renaissance fair in um, one of the t a couple of towns over. So I'm tempted to do that. That might be kind of fun, but it's um, eighteen dollars a person. So I'm kind of like I don't know. It seems like a little bit, a little bit steep, but we'll see. Um. So yeah, that's my planner. I have the Happy Planner. I got it last year, and the cool thing about it is it has like two years in there, which is kind of cool. Um. The only thing I I kind of like it is I feel like it's really big and bulky, like. I just always have like a small purse. I don't know if I have one of my purses. So I have like normally like this is my purse I take with me because it's one of those that goes over your shoulder and like so that's my hand. So you can see it's not very big. So obviously the planner is not going to fit in there. And that and it's they can be kind of heavy too. So like the cool thing about this one is let me show you. You can like tear out the page and then put it back in so I've been taking out all the other ones to lighten it so it's not as thick because it was that's how thick it is but it was a lot thicker it was probably like that before so yeah but I'm trying to work with it because I spent a lot of money buying all this stuff for it last year and I was having fun at first and then like I wasn't taking it with me and now I'm trying to get back into the swing of things also it gives me a chance to look at everything and figure out uh, things that are going on um, so that's pretty much, um, has been my day for the day. Um, I kind of feel like I stressed it a little bit because, um, my office mate, uh, she was out today and she's going to be out all day tomorrow. So maybe I'll just get in more walking in and that way, you know, I can build in my steps. Let me see how many steps I have. According to my Fitbit, I have 11,847 steps. So I got in my 10,000 steps today, which is awesome. And I am going to go ahead and participate in the step challenge next week. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited for it, though. Um, all right. Well, let me know how your week went. Um, if you're doing Simply Filling, I'm doing Simply Filling. And I'm still enjoying it. I'm kind of going back and forth whether I should um, go back to Smart Points or just stay on Simply Filling for a while. I think right now I'm okay where I'm at um, with the macros thing. I don't know, I was kind of thinking about it um, a little bit this morning and I feel like it's just another diet and it sounds good because it's working for somebody else right now. And I know for me that never really works, especially with calories, because one of the things with Weight Watchers you get used to being able to have certain things as free food, like fruits and vegetables. And if I start counting that, I'm not going to want to eat that. And then rather than, I'll get frustrated and then rather than eating the fruits or vegetables, I'll give up maybe and then start eating something else which could be worse so right now I'm just going to stick with it I might go ahead and do the macros just so I can like I said I can kind of see where I'm at um I kind of did it today but then I slacked off a little bit so 
All right, well, I'm gonna let you go so I can eat and I'll talk to y'all later, bye.